Hello everybody, this is Hashir. Welcome to speech recognition tutorial with Python and speech recognition module. So the aim of this tutorial is to convert our speech or speaking to text. Obviously there are a couple of ways to do that, a couple of modules that uh, I might not know about them. But I'm going to uh, write a very simple program that can just convert a speech to text using uh, a Google recognizer so to do that we need to have a speech recognition module so first thing we need to do as you see here I already downloaded but for the sake of this video I'm going to try to download it one more time so here we have a Python and if you are in a Linux, just uh, specify your version. For mostly in terminal, you have to write Python 3 or Python 3.6, whatever version you are working with. If you are not working with Python uh, 2, which this tutorial not going to work for uh, for that version, you need to tweak some stuff. But don't work with Python 2. Uh, uh, Python dash m pip install and speech recognition with capital S capital R and as you see requirement already satisfied so if you don't if you have it you will get this message and when you don't have it you will download it and uh, obviously you can see which version I am using right now all right now that we have the module let's uh, import it to our program so import because the speech recognition is a long name, we import it as speech recognition as SR. So we import the speech recognition as SR and after we import also OS. <coughs> Sorry. Um, um, so first thing we need to do is to create a variable to actually create an object from recognizer class and it's uh, pretty simple we just write for example recognizer or let's call it r for now r equal uh, speech recognition dot recognizer so recognizer is a class in a speech recognition uh, module so we have our object here and each object in uh, a speech recognition have seven uh, methods it means that you have access to seven different api to convert your speech to text uh, there are a google web speech api which which we are going to use now and Google Cloud Speech, Microsoft Bing, and uh, I think IBM Speech to Text. I'm not sure if it's uh, Watson or I, I'm really not sure. As CMU Sphinx, which is offline, and another one that I don't remember. So, but uh, you can Google it. It's not hard to do. So the next thing we need to have uh, the source. You can have a the audio separate audio file as, as a source or obviously I assume you want to use your microphone because you want to uh, convert your uh, your own voice to to text so here we can have we create uh, another variable audio equal r dot listen not with capital Listen, which is another method in speech recognition and here we have to have source as a parameter and to use the source of course we need to have that source after we can use it so it's very simple just with speech recognition microphone As source which we are going to use here in listen here we can write simple script like print speak 
and audio equal r dot listen source so we have to bring up this audio here and after we can just print um, r dot recognize underscore Google audio and that's all you need so let's try it uh, this called I S P R E C dot pi hello this is a test so as you see it takes time because it's using the API it's online and it's converting your um, my speech my speaking or my words to text now you might get some um, uh, for example error like uh, unknown value error or uh, some request error it's possible so let's try to make it another function make it a little bit more uh, not not advanced but more com complete uh, at least so here uh, did with this simple script you have to run it over and over then let's make one variable mic equal true okay and here we are going to define a function I call it listening and I put this a couple of lines inside that function and I already import my OS then OS dot system I'm going to clean my screen CLS and uh, I'm going to copy this line here actually I cut it from there and I paste it here all right and with SR microphone as source I'm getting a control of a microphone and we can have some um, or message here for, for example print um, request sent and at least we know this uh, program is working and print um, please wait all right add one more room and after we can use here actually print speak it doesn't really matter but we can copy this line uh, cut this line and put it here okay and here we can use uh, try accept block so try down here we call it command I call it command because maybe later I'm going to use this program to run some commands on my computer like personal uh, assistant or something like that so it's a good start for that and after I'm going to write print you said and here plus r dot recognizer recognize Google not recognize all, and <clears throat> actually here should be we don't need to have a print just command equal recognizer that Google that audio and after um, you said plus r that recognizer that Google audio all right and just for the sake of further uh, coding or developing we can just return return command and accept 
accept uh, speech recognition like sr dot unknown uh, value unknown value and here we can have if I am uh, correct I have to check um, yes let me see yeah I'm correct value and print for example couldn't get you and another exception except sr dot uh, request error error as e and here we have print uh, not a request result like if we have specific problem because of the not finding the not, not uh, having a request result for that request so we can have something like not a request uh, results and we can format it here on this way for example format and we pass the e here um, E and finish with that so um, now this function is going to work one time so we have to call it over and over let's try if it's working um, listening yes listening and here this is the second test all right the, the second test so this is the second test so one thing we need to do is oh, i just forgot it's, they have to be separate all right what if we want to have it more than once so the one thing we can do obviously it depends on your further program we can uh, use while loop i can do something like while mic is true all right then we can run this uh, function and after mic equal false all right and after a really simple if statement if mic is or mic is false then uh, try more equal input all right you want to try more or you want to try more or more commands or something like that or more commands and here we can have for example yes or no um, all right so if try more equal equal y dot lowercase then mic equal true and else break simple enough control s and we try it one more time mix where i wrote mix there is oh mix while my cannot mix i might see all right so one more time hello 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 this is a test All right hello 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 this is a test and more commands yes hello hello goodbye all right no that's it so it's very simple but it's actually this api is working kind of simple and very uh, um, straight away and uh, later on it's up to you how you want to develop
develop this program further maybe you can uh, connect your um, disco to some um, sub processes or use some system commands to control your uh, run some commands on your computer and also maybe you can for example try to uh, try to use uh, sphinx which is um, uh, offline module but uh, the package it's a little bit bigger not that much it's just a little bit bigger because everything going to run offline so that would be it for this uh, tutorial I hope you like it uh, if you like my videos my tutorials please subscribe hit the like button and I see you next tutorial thanks for watching